Hey guys, my name is Horror Kid, and welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. And as you can tell, I am now using the Trickster Technique. Yeah, I've been grinding this style off camera for a bit. Only managed to get to level 2, but hopefully that'll be more than enough to tackle the next secret mission. If I can't, well I'm just gonna have to grind some more after this episode. Also, sorry for the abundance of Devil May Cry 3 videos. I said I would be doing an episode of The Last of Us, but to be honest, I still really want to be in the world of Devil May Cry. So yeah, last episode we Dante freaking got stabbed twice by Virgil. But now, we have a new ability on our hand. Which is the Devil Trigger. Oh, devils never cry. <laughs> Still one. The coolest DMC songs ever. Let's go to Jump Midnight! This is all there's no tomorrow! Physics, I have two more middle fingers for you! It's the tears of your victim cries. I can't get enough of this theme. And unfortunately, that's the end of the song. Yeah, what the hell, Leviathan? Yes, that's what it's actually called, a Leviathan. Mission 8, a renewed fear bursts forth from the great demon's womb. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I leveled up Swordmaster to the limit, so I might as well have some fun with, with Trickster. Now Trickster mostly relies on basic dodging. So if you're good at dodging, then you don't need it. But if you suck major ass at it, you know, sometimes like what I am, then you most likely have to rely on it. Or if you're going for 100% trophy completion, then you need to upgrade this. Uh, four more tusks remain. Okay, so that just leads up there. And there's another thing here. Whatever the hell that is. So yeah, the... Oh yeah, we have access to Devil Trigger now. So Devil Trigger, much like in the first game, is basically Dante's equivalent of Super Sonic. Except you can activate it whenever. All you gotta do is just beat the shit out of enemies a few times. Okay, so secret mission number four or three is right through here. Yeah, secret mission four, Devil's Teeter Totter. Ride the elevator to the top. Very similar to a previous mission. So... Let's just do this. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So all we gotta do is just... Yeah, that's one of the biggest issues that people have with this. Yeah, um, already I can tell we're not going to be able to do this, so... Hold up! I think I just have an idea. Okay. Um. No. 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 Yes. Styles. Trickster. Wall hike. Damn. Okay, so... Yeah. Yep, I can already tell we are not going to be able to do this, so... How the hell do I, I do I exit a secret mission? Do I just let the enemies kill me? As if so, I might as well... Yeah, I think I definitely need to either upgrade Trickster more, or get a certain weapon later. Take it. <laughs> Let's just head up here. So yeah, the Leviathan stomach is definitely not one of my favorite areas in this entire game. To be honest, it's sometimes nauseating. Yeah, hello there, Red Crystal. Oh right, because I was grinding so much off camera, I completely forgot about the boss bonus red orbs. So that's why I have over 108,000 red orbs. Damn! Okay, let's just head through here. And we... I think we most likely have a Crash Bandicoot-esque chase scene. Maybe. Or not. Okay, so this is where we have to get out. The Leviathan's intestine. Oh hey, it's the Gigapede from... What? Two episodes ago. Yeah, this is a complete joke. See? Waste of my time. Phantom in DMC1 when he was chasing you. That was harder to kill. Oh, 
Okay, to be honest, I really thought I had to cut that down. Ugh. Yeah, I really don't know how to use Aggie and Ruka that well. But hey, they are cool weapons to use. Yeah, this game is fairly linear. Did that thing just steal all my red orbs? Oh, oh good, no it did. Oh, it is stealing all the red orbs that I do get. Damn it. I better get all those red orbs back. Ignis Fatus. The sin of jealousy. Um, oh. Okay. Oh great, now it's all bank. Marvelous. Oh boy. Can't wait to get chased by another Gigapede. Okay, just a regular green orb. I'm pretty sure there's a combat adjudicator in here. But I think I need a certain weapon to do it. Either here or no. Aha. And what? I'm gonna combat you again. I see cool to the core. I see cool to the core. Rebellion. Cerberus. Okay, nearest divinity statue thing. It's back. You know what? This is a good time to show off the DT. Yeah, in DMC3, this version of Devil Trigger is more unique than any other form of the super mode that I could possibly imagine. Also because, on, depending on what weapon you use, the DT form itself would change. Very cool, I, mu I must admit. Okay, how much time? And only around 31 minutes. Not bad. We are making tons of progress. So yeah, like I said, combat adjudicators, recommend using the guard for them. Because some of them are pretty well freaking heavy if you ask me. Okay. And this place is full of demons. Hey, at least I could. See And... Ow. Ow. So yeah, this is that. Wow, the DT really brings that. So yeah, I recommend just buying all the DT purple orbs from the divinity statues. God damn, this place is dark. And seriously, screw the Leviathan intestine acids. They are everywhere. And I mean 
everywhere. Okay, so equip. Okay, let's switch Rebellion with Cerberus. Check the guns. Yep, all of them are at level 3. Mostly because of all the grinding I had to be doing. Yeah, Cerberus, not one of my particular fate. Wait. God damn it, I can't go back. Ignorance. Patas. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, these things would just steal anything. They, they think they stole all my DT. Ow. Ow. So yeah, this is also the Cerberus form of it. The double trigger. Ow. His fight really isn't the best, if I'm just being completely honest. Especially with this thing constantly stealing my DT. It's a challenge to not get their DT stolen. Ow! I wasn't paying attention to my health. Screw it, I'm swallowing up even more pride. Jesus Christ, this thing does so much damage. Ow. 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 Come on. I was so close. Oh yeah. Struggles to wear out in fear of this tower. Inside out. Actually, should I do more of the secret Rage missions? And agonies of the people. I mean, Those who were confined there here, is a guide out there which the has the precise locations of the all the fit. secret missions. No offense to Akatsu 12. But uh, yeah, there is a guy out there to, who can find the location of all the secret missions and... Um... What's wrong? Also a site which has all the instructions of the secret missions, like what regular missions to find them in, that sort of thing. Which I'm leaving a link in the description, by the way, for both the video and the website link.
Okay, let's save. Next. Yeah, we just killed the Leviathan from the inside out. For a date. Forget it. Because I make it a point not to go out with women who shoot me in the head. Ha! Huh. Date a demon? <laughs> I'm not that desperate. Besides, I really don't care for guys who stink like blood. <sighs> You're right. Because I'm pretty sure his hand is still stained with blood. Who counted on you anyway? <laughs> Mission 9 Faded Memories. Uh, Christen the Sorceress of the Abyss with a Blade. Another boss fight, and thus another weapon. I, God damn, why must the level 3 must require over almost a hundred? thousand exp <sighs> yep this is not confusing at all so looks like a control device for the bridge I'll need some sort of special power to move the bridge all right I'm only 21 minutes left Ah, uh, nuts. Ugh, freaking spiders. I hate spiders. I hate them so much. I just don't like them. At least they're weak to as he fires. Ow. Purchase those DT orbs. Get the hell down from here. Yep, that's it. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know how to do the whole special attack with Agni and Rudra.
Oh, thank God, divinity statue. Items. Uh, the tea orbs. There we go. Give them hell. Yep. I have already built up the entire DT gauge. <laughs> Only cost me over what feels like a hundred thousand red orbs. But hey, better than you know having a constant low amount. Okay, so what's behind okay. Puzzles. My favorite. Damn! <sighs> Alright. Um, let's do a whole restart on this. Hold on. Yep, gonna have to restart this because I already messed up. Okay, so let's see here. What we want is to destroy this. This. There we go! Ah, Trickster. You are also great for, mo for mobility. Subground water vein. And we are back with seeing these guys again. Haven't seen these. Haven't seen them since what episode one. I completely forgot their names though. So let's just. Ooh, ow! Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's also another secret mission regarding this area. But yeah, like I said, recommend just maxing out the DC gauge. We have a white orb. And someone is calling. Someone is calling. <laughs> Okay, so if this is midnight, I swear. Okay, that was a bit unexpected. <laughs> Freaking midnight decided to call me. Uh, you know what, just for that reason, I have to leave his channel in the description as well. Just for that reason. <laughs> Talk about unexpected surprise. But again, no one expects the furry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. <sighs> That's just too hilarious. Ow. Oh boy, I hate this. I hate... I really don't like this room in particular. Mostly because of that. It's really freaking easy to... Soft lock yourself like that. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, we got. Hold on, I think there's another. 
the words restore the mask, sacred energy, and then the power to part oceans will be yours. Confusion. Okay, this is our first combat adjudicator with a new weapon, which we do not have, unfortunately. But here, we have a new gun. The Spiral. And let's already get this puppy upgraded to possibly the max. Um, no, not style. <laughs> Yep, already upgraded to the max. <laughs> wow. Hold on. Um, let me... No. I know there's something else over here. God damn it, Dante. Why must your run speed so be so damn slow? You are part demon. I know in DT form you move faster. But there is no excuse for you to be running this slow. I can run faster than that, and I'm someone who doesn't go outside a whole lot. Still can't believe Midnight decided to FaceTime me right while I was recording. We only have around 12 minutes left. Back to the rounded pathway. Yep, that's this room in particular. This is where you can easily stop lock yourself for practically all eternity. Ambrosia, fruit that mankind is forbidden to even touch. It is said to unlock the door to the paradise. Ambrosia, I feel like that's some sort of subtle reference to the God of War series. Because didn't Kratos have to like find the Ambrosia to cure his daughter? But yeah, um, the spiral weapon that we just got. Um, not one of the best in my opinion, mostly, I mean, I'm sure the damage output is good, but to be honest, I prefer rapid fire weapons like Ebony and Ivory. Which, by the way, I actually own three printed props of the reboot version. Woo! DT form! Okay, so this is Agni Rudra, and this is Cerberus. Yeah. Um, DMC 3 DT have best DT. You see? Just avoid. Oh, thank god. I thought I was gonna stop lock myself there. Ow. Ow! Okay, I'm pretty sure we have to go over here now. And this leads to a another secret mission, right? 
here. I'm pretty sure this is one we could do. Um, secret mission five, destroyer. Destroy every destructible object within the time limit. Uh, if Cerberus would just behave. Also, I don't remember there being this much stuff the first time. Yep, might take a few tries. Damn, 47 out of 50. 47 out of 50. That's right. For some reason, Cerberus doesn't have a freaking air hike. again let's one more time because at least Agni and Rudra have an air hike is it because they're swords because if so that's dumb because seriously any one person in real life by the way who can double jump with swords Those bottles. Those freaking bottles. <sighs> Again, don't remember there being this much destructible object in the original mission. Who's, who the hell is texting me? You know what? No. I'm doing this in my spare time. At least you all know where Secret Mission, what, 5? Is. Let's just get a move on. Okay, um, let's just get all you. Because... Okay, so how much time do we have left? Around five minutes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yep, the sunken opera house. Dracula? Nope. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Dante, you perv. Yeah, it is. You'll be nice to me, won't you? <laughs> of course I will. I'll treat you so nicely. You'll never want to leave. <laughs> no, 
Now that's what I'm talking about. What the? Uh, starting the boss fight against Nevin. Um, an electrical elemental succubus. I think. Seriously, what the hell is Nevin supposed to be? Even I don't know. Ow. Ow. Wait, he's weak to Cerberus. Ow! That was close. Shut up. Ow, 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 ow! No! No! <laughs> Let's try this again. This time with Nevin's weakness in mind. Let's see how many tries it'll now take me to kill her. Ow! Ow! If she does that woman. Oh, yeah, that's the damage I'm talking about. And nine, eight, okay, you know what, screw it. That's going to be the time I have for this episode of the Let's Play Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. Um... Be sure to subscribe to Shave Midnight and turn on both of our notification bells to be notified whenever him and I upload a new video. I've been Harkin and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye and take care everybody.